New day, new creepypasta. This time we're going for... Herobrine. Oh boy. If For those of the, that don't know, Herobrine is essentially a Minecraft creepypasta. Where he, it's basically kind of like Steve's skin, but instead of his usual uh, brown eyes, his eyes are pure, glowing white. And that's a little unnerving, if I'd say so myself. But I want to find... I'm excited to find out the full backstory behind Herobrine. And I'm sure you all are too, so let's get into it. Alright, now it's time we get into the backstory of Herobrine. Going from this one forward are all going to be creepypastas that I know little to nothing about. Well, no slash remember. And for Herobrine in this case, uh, it's little to nothing. So we got, only God can help you now. Herobrine's most famous quote. Stop. A post from the original creepypasta and wake up, Herobrine. Also, my finger is bleeding because I accidentally bit into it hard, uh, too hard. I have a bad habit of biting my nails. Uh, note, this file is a co uh, composite of many versions of this character. However, canon information has been specifically highlighted, such as the original creepypasta. Herobrine, aka him, is a widely popular creepypasta revolving around a ghost haunting the code of Minecraft. He is one of the major community icons of Minecraft. Herobrine has not been present in any version of Minecraft. Any version? Like, doesn't matter which software update it was, but it doesn't... He has not been present in any version, whether it was Bedrock, Java, uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation, Switch, three, even the 3DS version as well. But, recently, nowadays, it would be Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and Java that would be getting updates. They stopped doing updates for 3DS, uh, for the new Nintendo 3DS, as well as the Xbox 360 a long time ago. Uh, canon of Herobrine is widely regarded as the first image story ever posted about Herobrine, as, as well as the Brocraft stream. Anything posted after these two events is considered as fan-made adaptations slash variations. Herobrine first appeared in a single image detailing an encounter. It was posted on the 4chan slash v slash board and gained very little attention. It stated how Herobrine had appeared in someone's single player game, littering the map with various pyramids and tunnels. It is the first media to name him as Herobrine. It was only late. It was only later that Herobrine grew into grew in popularity when the Brocraft streamer Copeland photoshopped Herobrine into several screenshots to show to his chat. He had recently taken a liking to the story and wished to be a part of it. After getting largely good reactions, he's decided to stage a hoax. He has explained exactly how that took place in an email. Sorry, what? Copeland had played through the world as a normal Let's Player would, deliberately avoiding the work-in-progress room he had set up for the hoax. Herobrine was introduced to the stream here at 2045. Uh, I'm not... live streams. I'm not gonna bother going there. He is confirmed as a retextured painting. Copeland then screamed out and ran it out of the room, promptly ending the stream. Copeland pretended to be shaken up in the chat and later posted a message onto the forums, linking to the video to spread it around in the hope of to get similar reactions. After a while, Copeland removed the painting and reverted to normal textures. He proceeded to stream further, pretending to be scared. He announced that he would delete the, the world to never meet Herobrine again. Later on, 
Patamus made a video showing Herobrine in a user-made lava field. This Herobrine was freestanding, unlike the previous video. Due to this, it is likely he was a retextured door. The livestream went down after Patamus ran away and saved his game, only to resume 10 minutes later where Herobrine had disappeared. Later on during the second stream, Patamus can be heard talking to his wife, stating he was trolling. This flooded the livestream chat with outrage. He then faked a game crash. Copeland disliked that Patamus outed Herobrine as a fake. It is unknown when exactly it happened in relation to Patamus' video, but Copeland then posted links in chat leading to this little uh, this link right here. This is likely where the nickname him originated from. The page features Steve's face, both real, frantically rolling eyes in the place of his black eyes, modified to be completely black. Below the face, there are a jumble of characters and letters. After removing all non-alphabet characters, the following message is revealed. Oh boy, this is going to be doozy. It has been reported that some victims of torture during the act would retreat into a fantasy world from which they could not wake up. In this catatonic state, the victim lived in a world just like their normal one, except they weren't being tortured. The only way that they realized they need to wake up was a note they found in their fantasy world. It would tell them about their condition and tell them to wake up. Even then, it would often take months until they were ready to discard the fantasy world and please wake up. The message keeps telling the viewers to wake up, implying they're living in a fantasy world, and this text hidden in the page is their note. The above text is from another creepypasta entitled Wake Up. The stream, uh, the stream proceeded uh, later with no further Herobrine sightings. Copeland continued to adamantly state Herobrine was real for about a year onwards. Since the stream, there has been a huge increase in his popularity, propelling Herobrine to meme status and making him an icon to the community. There are several mods, animations, pieces of work, artwork, and constructions of Herobrine that have been created. True. Herobrine is a human entity which, with exactly the same skin as Steve, however Herobrine has bright white eyes that glow in the darkness as if they are a light source. Herobrine can sometimes be seen holding tools, such as pickaxes. This stems from the widespread community belief that Herobrine was a miner. Usually his hands are empty. <laughs> oh no, this first one. Herobrine is Notch's dead brother, somehow embedded into Minecraft. While this is the canon, this is also completely false in reality, as Notch has no brother. While Herobrine's creator is unknown, he is not a Minecraft character. Herobrine is not in Minecraft. As many fans were obsessed so by Herobrine, being that it was quite a popular myth surrounding Minecraft, the developers of the game added the phrase, Herobrine removed within certain updates of the game to encourage the tale of, for the fans. There are no references to him at all in the source code, and there is no code to allow for any entity to act like Herobrine. There is no level terrain code to generate 2x2 tunnels or elaborate dungeons with traps. There's no possible way Herobrine can ever exist in any unmodded client, uh, clients or servers. Any claims that he is in Minecraft are completely false. Any appearances he may have been caused by either mods being installed or because of another play, player using the skin. True. All signs of Herobrine, like trees with no leaves, random glowstone towers, suspicious messages on signs, etc., are either glitches formatted naturally, or placed by another player to mislead. The Minecraft wiki and forums do not partake, uh, partake in any viral Herobrine hoax. Any deletion of Herobrine related comments or stories are purely because Herobrine does not exist and the stories are either fictional with an intent to mislead others or the result of users playing mods installed on their game, possibly with their, their knowledge. 
Yeesh. However, the fact that people claim to see Herobrine in Minecraft despite having no code in the files indicates that he is not a character programmed into the code, but rather a ghost trapped within the game. Again, these are all fake though. Lastly, many, many types of Minecraft media have been made with feature uh, which feature Herobrine, including tons of fake sighting videos, music videos, other types of videos, mods, stories, and even full-blown books. He is usually portrayed as a powerful ultimate villain who sometimes commands or possesses mobs and kills or traps players. However, videos like Monster, Sc videos like Monster School and the Entity 303 Creepypasta portray him in a less evil light, sometimes even making him a sort of tragic hero. All right, so obviously we have, uh, so obviously we have this picture right here of Herobrine holding a diamond, a bloody diamond pick. I, hold up, I didn't notice that was blood first. Only God can help you now. I didn't realize he was holding a bloody diamond pickaxe. Holy! And then over on Google Images, we obviously got the fan art. First and foremost, yeah, uh, we have this one, Herobrine is watching you, yeah, that's usually the dumbest one, and when it comes to fan art, there's usually dumb ones, there's usually uh, good ones, and that one right there is a dumb one. Hold up. Honestly, this one this one doesn't look that bad. This actually looks really good. Then there's this one right here. <laughs> the fact that his eyes are glowing like crazy. It's like I imagine I obviously knew they were going to be washed out white, but the fact that they're glowing like glowstone like that. Jeez, put some extra effort into those eyes. Hey you, yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.